This demo video uses FlexMap to make a virtual tabletop table. So we're going to start off with a template that has all the textures and elevation features that we need. So basically the way it works is each of these different textures is a different layer and you can put them on top of each other. And then it's drawn that way on the, your battle map. The elevation features are called level 0 through 6, and this will dictate the height of that particular area. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a road. And to do that, it's pretty simple. We can just use this dirt to start off the center. and Select our draw tool. Select the first point, and then just click, click, click. And then we can widen this. I'm going to use 16, because that seems to work out nicely. And this is the basics of our road. So we're going to make an actual crossroad instead of just a single road. So that we have the basics of the road. Now in virtual tabletop this will show these two different textures kind of blended together but to make it look a little nicer we're going to use a texture in between these two. And this is on a lower level so grass dirt will be drawn first which means this will be drawn on top. So you can cover it and it will not draw the parts that are underneath. So we're going to make it wider than that previous, which was 16, so we're going to make it 32, and it'll help to blend when we're actually in virtual tabletop. Now we have our basic road. So in some of these maps, we'll have a uh, some trees along the edge here to here on the map. So I'm going to use scrub as the sort of tree identifier. And we'll use the same system as before. And then we'll use this grass scrub and do the exact same thing we did for the road. And there we now we have the basics. Now to put the elevations in, we use the different levels and they work the same way as the textures. So we're going to make the map go from level 0 all the way up. And the principle is the same. Except when you draw a feature, the terrain feature, you're not going to see it colored. It's just going to be a blue line. And there we have it. Now I'm going to do some more of this and then I'll start the video up again and you'll see what it looks like when it's complete. Now I've completed putting in some of the elevations and some other little details. You can continue adding all these different details that you want, make it more complex if you want, to make it give it a little bit more detail where you need detail. And now each of these blue lines represents an altitude or an elevation. Uh, the thinner it is, then the higher it is. So this is a this is a level six right here. and you can click on them to find out how big they really are. So we're going to save this and we'll call it Hill Crossing 2 and then we'll use that in the next video to create a table.